Hey guys, so this is my HP Omen Oculusk um, with the 1060 i7 800-700K and one terabyte hard drive and 256 gigabyte SS M.2 SSD. So there have been a lot of uh, videos about how this system doesn't get the best cooling and heat and a lot of people are mad because you have to take out the whole motherboard just to upgrade the cooler um and let me actually show you what i did so it is a little noisy and that's why i don't always keep it on this like noisy with what i did makes it really noisy because um i'm gonna show you but usually the temperatures for the cpu graphics card are kind of in the 40s which isn't really that good but i was able to get mine down to um a stable of about 39 which it really isn't stable because i have the omen command center up and my gpu fluctuates from 34 to 35 but my uh, gp my cpu is actually at, at 39 which is good so what i did is um let me turn off my lights really quickly so i can show better um uh, maybe white light's good okay white light is perfect uh, okay so it's really noisy right now, but what I did is they don't put, give you that many fan slots on the motherboard. So what I actually did was I, I, there was a liquid cool underscore pump slot right there on the motherboard that I bought a um, fan splitter for it, which is right there, fan splitter, and I plugged in a real exhaust fan. Let me take off this panel really quick. I plugged in. plugged in that rear exhaust fan and there's also that one there but that's a 120 millimeter and then um there's a hair in this for my dog and then i plugged in um this cooler master fan into it right there and you're probably like wow that's too loud for me um my family's gonna get mad i don't want it that loud well for i think it's because the liquid cool underscore pump slot um, it has a lot of power, so I think that's why it's so loud. But if you plug this fan into CPU, the CPU one on the board, it's not on the fan splitter. It's not very loud at all. So I'm gonna do that right now and show you guys. So listen to how loud it is now. Let me unplug it. It's a little tricky to get it out, but. There, so I unplugged it, right? Watch when I plug it into CPU one. It's it starts out loud at the beginning, but look look this now quiet down. See how it goes down? I don't know why that is, but that's how that's why I don't know. But it's still blowing a good amount of air. And my temperatures go up a little bit. Let me show you when it's not that loud. But it's still a big it's still a lot better. See it's at forty, it was at like thirty nine before. And it goes up like to 43, cause the temps aren't the best, but I'll probably install a liquid cooler eventually. But anyway, um, I think if I would have plug it, that fan splitter into the CPU um, fan, and then I plugged it in, it wouldn't be as loud just because the liquid cool pump gives a little bit more, um, uh, gives a little bit more power to the fans. I don't know why the CPU one makes it so, um, like, so quiet, so much quieter, but, and I have the, I have my, f this top exhaust fan in fan two, but for some reason, that one isn't very loud, and maybe I'll switch my fan splitter over to the, the CPU fan, and then plug it back in, but probably not, honestly, I mean, it's fine with this. It's still blowing a good amount of air, and I still got good exhaust. But that's how that's how I got like really good temps on it. Like even with the even with the like the stable before I did this was my f was really bad. It was forty six stable, and my GPU was like thirty thirty seven. So like this has helped so much with the temps on the HP Omen because like it, ha it hasn't had the best temps, but now when I game, it is so much better. My graphics card stays so much co cooler. And like my temps are amazing. See, my stables are so much better than they used to be.
I don't know if you can see it. My phone's a little. There we go. 39, 33. And yeah. And then my GPU. Um, you can also, I, I might order, the, for, the, you can order a fan for the expansion slot because I know this graphics card sometimes gets a little hot. So you can order that and it will rest right under there and blow air into the part that the heat sink doesn't cover. But yeah, guys. Um, if you have any questions, I can most likely answer them. I've done a lot of research on this system. And, yeah, drop them in the comments, and I will get to them. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll be back with another video if I decide to install a liquid cooler right on, on the CPU and the whole tutorial on that. Thank you for watching, guys. Bye.